Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at some Play-Doh sweet shop and today we have the ice cream one which is really cool. So let's take a look at the actual dough itself first of all in each tub. So we've got this nice pink tub and inside we have our pink dough with little bits in it and those little bits are chocolate they're not really chocolate but that's what they're supposed to be is chocolate so we'll put that one there that's the pink one and these are special ones as well because they got the little bits in them we also got the white one with little bits in them as well as you can see really nice with the bits in so we're just gonna play with it a little bit to warm it up so that's a really nice one as well and the last one we have is the actual which is going to be the base to our ice cream today which is the play-doh brown and this is a really nice color as well this is this is like um like a like a smooth color really nice you know really nice to work with as well so let's take a look so in this set you get the three colors which we have here and you also get the mold as well which is this plastic mold to make the actual base itself so to make the base we grab our little mold like this here and we get the brown you can use whatever color you want really and this is how I make them you don't have to make them like this really if you don't want to but yeah you just push it in like that and then as you can see you know the bottom needs to be pushed in but you just want to get the pattern on the outside the saw which is the name of the game so you just push it down in the middle like that and then it will work itself around eventually and you can make you know you can make adjustments to it as and when and this is a really cool mold actually because it's just made of you know of like recyclable plastic and you know it's just a cheap mold really it's not you know like a proper like some molds you get so yeah, we've made our mould there now. You know, it's pretty rough, but, it's, you know, it's, it's Play-Doh at the end of the day. So inside should look like that. And then all you've got to do is just squeeze the mould a little bit. Just, you know, don't, don't be, you know, don't be scared to give it a good push. So then when it comes out, as you can see, the pattern is on the side there. And that's what you're looking for, is just to have the pattern on the side. That's, that's all, really. Like these lines, Domara, you know, you just have fun with it, that's what it's about. So, my favourite ice cream is a double cornet, it's called in the UK. I'm not sure what it's called around the world. But, basically, it's a little cornet like this, with two blobs of ice cream on top. I normally have the... I normally have a raspberry, which my ice cream man sells. And a vanilla one. That's my favourite. But yeah, we'll take these two blobs off just so we can get two on there. And then two, just, you know, just shape it into a, the shape of an ice cream. You know, you can just have some fun with this. This is what it's all about. And this is a really cool little set as well. I really like this set. So then all you want to do is just place this on here like that. There. And that's your first blob of ice cream. And then the second blob, shape it again, like so, like this. You know, you just want to shape it so it looks like ice cream. And then you can somehow, you've got to put that on there. So if you, t if you can squeeze them together, like that. And that's how it goes on. So that's my corner, double, with double ice cream on top. And you can also, if you wanted to, do you know if you wanted to make like little, little balls can make little balls like this you know and place them on the pink one and then place the pink ones on the white one like this and do it all the way around so it looks pretty cool so there we have it guys there's my ice cream double cornet with hundreds and thousands on them which is just little chocolate sprinkles on top let me know in the comments guys what you think about this little play-doh sweet shop set 
you know i really like it you know you can have a lot you know a lot of fun with it and let me know what you think about the dough with the little bits in it and let me know what you make as always guys thanks for watching hope everyone's having a fantastic day and i'll see you next time hey guys welcome to another video today we're going to take a look at another imagine next set and as you can see we get the emergency fire engine in the background but we also get this cool figure which comes with an amazing little suit that you can just clip on so that just slides over the top and as you can see it creates the fireman so we'll put him in the driver's seat so you can keep a look out and we'll take a look at the fire engine itself so as you can see we have a door on the side here which is an ideal place to put some play-doh but you can also put in like accessories that you can get with these sets like axes, picks, horse pipe, everything really which is really cool but it's nice to keep a bit of play-doh in there as a storage we also have buttons on the side here as you can see and you press the orange one and the lights go off also makes a siren noise as well which is really cool looks, looks amazing in the in the dark we also got a little button on top there a little gray one as you can see and it drops down the side arms which is really cool so we'll just put them up again and show you side face on press the button and push down they come which is really cool so let's take a look around this side of the fire engine we have a secret horse pipe here that comes out on a string and all you have to do is turn that and the horse pipe comes out or the hose and then you tighten it back up and it goes back in which is really nice now the detail on this emergency fire engine is fantastic and it's really durable as well so it's like really strong and we also got a really cool feature on top where the fireman stands and when you turn him you can turn him left or right and the pivot swings left and right which is really cool we also have an extendable part as well on the front with the hose on the front of there which just moves back and forth you can all they also fit in there perfectly which is a really cool feature it's just packed full of different details different features and it's just really cool so let's take a look at the back of this as you can see we have a huge storage compartment which you can put play-doh in you can put all your toys in or you can put like the, some of the spare men in there if you want but we're gonna put play-doh in there today just for the purpose of the video it's from Fisher Price this is which is really cool all the Imaginex stuff so yeah guys let me know in the comments below what you think about this emergency fire engine and maybe you have the same one I hope everyone's gonna have a fantastic day as always and I'll see you next time
little spaceship. You could use multicolored play doh if that you know if you like. Like you could do the body of the spaceship green and the the little tentacle things or the bottom in green if you wanted. So let's roll some green out and let's do the alien. Yeah, the alien is definitely my favorite. So let's do the star first. And let's do the alien. Cannot help but love the little aliens in Toy Story. They're really cool. As, as you can see, these molds are really nice. You know, you can use them, you know, with any color you want. You could, you know, that's definitely my favorite. The little alien. <laughs> Pretty cool. And the star as well, which is really nice. I quite like the star too, which is really nice. So yeah guys, let me know in the comments below what was your favourite mould from this video. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day as always and I'll see you next time. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at this Fireman Sam workbench from Play-Doh. So in the set we get these cool little tubs with the moulds on top. And as you can see each tub has a different mould. That one's fire and it's got red. We've got Penny. We've got Elvis. We've got, that's a water splash mould. We've got Tom Thomas, and we also get this cool stamp as well, which is really nice. You get this bag of, bag of toys, so let's take a look at the bag of toys. 
but you get things like molds you get these really cool molds so we get uh, fireman sam elvis penny we get this pizza cutter as well which is really cool you get the little rolling pin you get these cool little molds get quite a few of them we've got little detailers just to cut around the molds once you've finished again we've got some more of these cool people molds I bet one of them is Naughty Norman we've got the little Fireman Sam badge we have another load of molds so we've got uh, Penny Fireman Sam there we've got Elvis, we've got Jupiter which is the fire engine we've got these cool little plastic molds which go on the end of the gun we've got another two little detailers which is really nice get this cool little play-doh scissors get another little naughty norman mold so let's make a few molds up and have a bit of fun so you know as you can see there we have a load of different molds different diff loads of different activities to use with this workbench you also get the workbench that we're working on now and you get the small parts as you can see so as you can see here we got the penny mold and she came out really good and you know you can use whatever colors that you would prefer to use I'm just what using play-doh which shows up the detail the most so you can see the detail that it can produce and th you know things you know that's fireman Sam there with his thumbs up really nice now you can cut around the edges, you can tidy them up, you can create you know you can create be as, as imaginative as you want with it really you don't, uh, there's no set way as you know but this is definitely worth, if, you, if you're into Fireman Sam, fire engines anything of that nature, even just Play-Doh and you like Fireman Sam, it's a fantastic kit to get because you get so much inside it's, it's amazing so let's do this fire mold which this mold is really nice and it comes out fantastically look at that that's amazing really nice and let's do this is the water splash now what you could do is use blue play-doh and cut it cut around the blue play-doh with the deep with the detailers and then it would give you an amazing effect but to show that on camera would take you know a long time and you know you don't want to watch me just cutting up molds you want to see what they produce so this is Tom Thomas and this is the last of the pot molds so all the molds that we just did are from the top of the pots that you get in the set so let's take a look at some of the separate molds that you get so we're going to do Fireman Sam in the red play-doh and as you can see it comes out really well you know diff different colors what I found is different colors different color play-doh gives you different sorts of details and it'll show up a lot more like lighter colors don't show the detail as much and darker colors kind of show up the, the most of the detail so there we have Elvis which is really cool so what we can do is just use the scissors then just to trim around the characters you could use the little detailers to go into a little bit more detail with it but just for the purpose of the video we're just going to trim them up with the scissors so let's use the red play-doh and we have this is Penny this is Penny's mold as you can see it came out really nice it's a fantastic workbench to own to have because you can use it for other things you know you can use it for your other molds and it just keeps everything tidy on the workbench which is really nice so penny came out really well so let's take a look at our last mold and see what it comes out like as you can see all you got to do is push down on it gently and the mold comes out perfectly look at that 
No, that's fantastic. Detail on is spot on. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about this workbench. If anyone wants to know where you can get it from, give me a message on in the comments below. Hope everyone's going to have a fantastic day, as always. And I'll see you next time. Hey guys, welcome to another surprise video. Today we're going to take a look at this massive Play-Doh surprise egg. And as you can see on the front, we have Transformers, Spongebob, Hello Kitty, some Shopkins, some Frozen toys, Thomas and Friends toys. We have an Adventure Time surprise egg just to show you the scale of this egg. And our huge Play-Doh surprise egg has lots of cool surprises inside so shall we open him up and see what we got so inside we have kinder surprise eggs spider-man surprise eggs pepper pig every single character that we like will be in this cool play-doh surprise egg so shall we take the eggs out and get stuck in let's go for it so let's see what's in the first surprise egg. And in our first egg, we have the one and only Thomas the Tank Engine. He's everyone's favorite train. So let's open our first chocolate surprise egg, which is this cool Spider-Man chocolate egg. And let's see what cool surprise is inside. We got Spider-Man, the one and only. And he comes with this cool little base as well, which is really nice. So next, we're gonna have a look at our third surprise egg. And who do we have? It's Iron Man from the Marvel series. We have Mavis number seven in our fourth surprise egg. Our fifth egg contains number 12. Let me know in the comments below this cool Thomas and Friends character's name. Again, more Thomas and Friends surprises. We all love Thomas and Friends. So let's take a look at our first Kinder Surprise egg and see what we can find. I really like these surprise eggs. The Kinder ones are one of my favorite. So let's take a look and see what we find. Wow, look at that, we got a cool bear. And he's got his own leaf to hold. Really cool. Nice detail, really nice. Great collection to collect. So shall we take a look at our big pink egg and inside there's a pepper pig whistle and you also got mommy and daddy pig on there as well really nice so shall we take a look at our second kinder surprise egg and see what we find now this is a transformers egg so we might if we're lucky and look at that this contains a transformer and look it's Megatron Megatron said thanks for waking me up guys it's hard work being in that surprise egg so let's take a look at our final surprise egg for this video which is the Adventure Time surprise egg again definitely one of my favorite eggs really nice so let's have a look. We've got a cool wristband with the Adventure Time characters on there. Really nice. And in my favorite color, blue. And we've got a cool sticker and some sweets. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comment below who's your favorite character from this video. And as always, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And I'll see you next time. Hey, guys. Have you seen Scooby-Doo? out there? Maybe he's over here. 
with that nasty monster and them big pumpkins made from play-doh so should we go and have a look and see what it is so Batman goes up to the monster and the monster goes rawr Batman said what's that noise but Batman didn't realize that the monster was gonna go for him and the monster jumps on Batman oh no who's gonna help Batman the monsters got him and in comes Superman and he manages to knock the monster off Batman and he's down and Superman said are you okay Batman Batman's fine he said that monster caught me off guard I didn't expect him to jump on me like that next time be a bit more careful Superman said so where's Scooby-Doo said Superman what's you can you hear anything no maybe these big pumpkins have swallowed him up and maybe we should take a look inside to see what's inside them good idea so let's take a look at our first pumpkin and let's see if there's Scooby-Doo inside but inside our first pumpkin we have the Joker oh no and the Joker goes ha ha finally I'm free from that silly pumpkin now I can get you and the Joker tries to go for Batman but Superman said no you're not having that Pew! and he takes the Joker down before he could even get to Batman so come on Batman help we need to stick him into this pumpkin so he can't get free so Batman and Superman both put Joker into the pumpkin so now he's stuck and he can't get out ha ha said Batman have you seen our Scooby-Doo anywhere Batman asked Joker Joker said I'm not talking to you you can find Scooby for yourself so we're gonna take a look in the second pumpkin and maybe this pumpkin has swallowed up our Scooby-Doo so let's take a look and see what's inside we can see some feet and inside we have our pirate Scooby-Doo Scooby snacks Scooby said no Batman said we just came to save you you can have Scooby snacks tonight thanks Scooby said that's Joker and these pumpkins they both hurt me and Scooby said Joker how do you feel now you're stuck just like I was so Superman and Batman managed to save the one and only Scooby-Doo and in the process they managed to put the Joker out of action too don't forget to subscribe said Scooby hey guys welcome to another video today we're going to take a look at some play-doh hello kitty with some really really amazing hello kitty play-doh figures and I found these the other day and I thought they were really cool because you get play-doh in the pots underneath and you also get these really really nice figures on top as well so let's take the figures out first and have a little look so yeah, I've taken the Hello Kitties from the top now from the packaging and we also get this Hello Kitty doll with dough which is really cool it doesn't get anything in it, it just says what colors you can get and a how color blend chart and stuff which is really cool but we get these really nice Hello Kitty figures and they've got a hole in the top I'm not a, I don't know if you put dough in there I wouldn't have thought so because th there's no way of getting it out once it's in there but I thought these are really cool just due to the fact that the detail is really nice and I haven't seen these figures before so let's put these figures out of the way and take a look at the actual play-doh pots that we get so we get three pots with these we get the purple which is really nice and if you can see on the top we get molds as well which is really cool so we get the yellow one and the white one as well so let's do the molds on top and see what they look like they look really cool to me 
So the first mold we're going to do is the purple one and as you can see we get the Hello Kitty mold there so we're just going to push it down here. I really like this purple mold and the purple dough as well. don't see much purple dough really. So look at that. Really cool. The details there looks really nice. As you can see it's got a character. It's really cool. I'm going to leave them in the circles because I, I prefer them like that. So let's go on to the yellow one. So here's the yellow mold. We have just a Hello Kitty head with the bow. And we're going to do this in the yellow dough. You can use whatever colour dough you want though, you know. As you can see in the background we have a load of doughs. And as you can see, came out really nice. Got a really good mould there. So let's take a look at the last and final dough, which is the white dough. So instead of using the white dough, I've decided to use the blue dough with a white mold and as you can see this is probably my favorite mold because she's holding a microphone I think it's a microphone something along it looks like that to me well we'll see what it is and as you can see the face didn't come out fantastic there but the detail on the body is really nice so yeah guys let me know in the comments below what was your favorite mold from this play-doh hello kitty set as always, guys, big thanks for watching. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day, as always. And I'll see you next time. Grandma Pig said to Peppa, Hey, Peppa George, would you like to make some Hello Kitty donuts today from some Play-Doh? Peppa got really excited and said, Yeah, I'd love to make some Hello Kitty donuts. George is really excited as well. So Grandma goes off and gets the moulds for the Hello Kitty donuts. And she also goes off and gets the Play-Doh as well. So Grandma says, here's the Play-Doh and the moulds. Who's going to put it into the mould? Said Grandma. So pick up the mould and the Play-Doh. Pepper. So with a helping hand, Pepper shapes the Play-Doh into a sausage shape and places it into the mould. By doing this, Pepper is creating the Hello Kitty head, shaped as a donut. Pepper said, come on Pepper, hurry up. I want to see what it looks like. So Pepper continues to push the Play-Doh into the mould with her feet. She said this is loads of fun. And then George joins in. George jumps on top as well. By doing this we push in the Play-Doh into the mould. So with a helping hand Pepper gets the mould out of the shape. So there we have our Play-Doh Hello Kitty donut. So Grandma said it's a bit plain at the moment. Should we put some ice in on it? So Grandma goes off and gets the, the ice in to go on top of the donut. So shaping the icing to go onto the donut is a simple process. You just shape the icing in the shape of the donut and place it on top. Pepper said, hurry up. I can't wait to see what it's like at the end. Pepper sometimes need a helping hand with these kinds of things. You can't do everything on your own, said Grandma. Sometimes it's nice to be helped. So carefully placing the icing on top of the donut to give the correct shape. George stands on top of the icing to make sure it's all level.
also Peppa jumps on top as well just to make sure it's all the same shape so we have our icing on top of the donut it's still looking a bit plain grandma says what else could we do we could use our cool plunger said Peppa Pig so Peppa, so Peppa went off and got the pink icing to go in the plunger so Peppa places the pink icing in the plunger and gently squeezes it onto the donut. This could be like our hundred and thousand sprinkles, said George. So carefully placing the Play-Doh onto the donut is a load of fun, said Peppa. Do you want to try, George? as Peppa places oh no grandma's fallen over quick quick get up grandma grandma said I'm okay I just slipped George said wow how cool is that shall we cut it said Peppa grandma said yeah okay we'll cut it now to see what it looks like so grandma comes over and cuts the donut for Pepper and George. You can't cut it on your own, guys. You're too small still, said grandma. So we cut a little piece for Pepper. And we also keep some of the sprinkles on as well. Wow, Pepper said, that's a great piece, grandma. Thank you. So we cut a little bit more for George and then everyone's happy. Wow, George has got his piece as well. Look how cool that is. So Grandma, Pepper and George created a Hello Kitty donut with some cool Play-Doh and had loads of fun. And everyone's got their own piece of the donut. Don't forget to subscribe. everyone's going to have a fantastic day as always guys thanks for the support and i'll see you next time hey guys welcome to another video today we're going to make some play-doh food so what you're going to need is a few food molds like so we have a fish finger one here and we also have a turkey drummer there we also have, this is my favourite one, we have a little chips, french fries, and we also have a sausage mould as well, which is really cool. You're going to need a little plate, like this. Maybe a little uh, little Play-Doh scissors, like so. And we're also going to need brown Play-Doh, which I'm using this one here. And we're also going to use the yellow one. I like to keep it just two colours. You can, you know, you could have a little bit of play and use blue Play-Doh, for example, or even purple or pink if you really wanted to, because it is just play food at the end of the day. But I'm going to make it look realistic as possible. <laughs> so let's move the plate out of the way and let's make a, a few chips. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of our yellow Play-Doh. We're going to put it in here like so. And it's as simple as just pushing it into the gaps and then putting the mould on top like so, pushing down and then 
there's your chips so what you do then it's already pre-cut from the mold so you can just peel it away like so so yeah you can just peel it away and there we have a few chips so let's put our plate there and we'll have a few chips we're also going to make a sausage as well so we're going to make a few sausages so let's put a little bit of the brown play-doh into the groove there a little bit more and push it into the get into the first mold like that as you can see push that on top so it's there and then just push down get it lined up and push as hard as you can and there we have our mini little sausage <laughs> which is really cool and then you just tap hold the sides down and that's our little sausage so we'll put that by there now this is a good mold as well this that was the the chip and sausage mold we are also going to do the little turkey drummer mold which will need this drumstick because this goes in it so get your brown dough like so now you push the dough there inside and then you get your little stick and you've got to line it up with the little hole there so all you do is push down until it's lined up like so and then fold the dough around it like that so it looks like this and then the magic happens so we push down hard again and pull it away and we have our turkey drummer this is our little turkey drummer that we just made so let's have a take that out of the mold and there's our turkey drummer look at that it's pretty cool and these these mold edges you just tap them down and that's perfect so we put that on the plate there and that's really cool so what you do then is you make up a load of chips like I've done and like so these are ones I made earlier so what you do is you just set your plate so we'll have our turkey drummer on one on on the edge there and then you get your chips your french fries and you just put them on the plate like so and you got your sausages as well which are really cool I really like the mold of the sausages which is really nice we'll just put two sausages on there you know I'm not feeling that hungry tonight you know so yeah that's it that's as good that's it really we got desserts come in and all kinds of cool play-doh videos in the near future as well guys so let me know what you think about my turkey drummer sausage and chips dinner as always guys thanks for watching hope everyone's having a fantastic day and i'll see you next time hey guys welcome to another video today we're going to take a look at this play-doh sweet shop and as you can see we get normal tubs of play-doh inside we get play-doh plus we get a three tier cake stand with molds and we also get cupcakes cupcake molds loads of different things like little little fork little knife little chisel so let's take a look inside the box and see what we find so we've got one base for the stand and you can see the molds we got the yellow base we've got the plunger we've got another base we've got the main base which is the bottom we've got the pusher which goes in the yellow thing to push the play-doh out we've got the cake mold itself we've got a fork knife and a little tool to clean up all the molds which are really nice <coughs> We also get the play-doh as well so as you can see we get 
normal Play-Doh tubs and Play-Doh Plus. Like Play-Doh Plus is a slightly it's a slightly weaker Play-Doh so you can mold it a lot easier and you can push it through molds or anything you want really. But it makes it ideal for the cupcakes. So as you can see we get three normal Play-Dohs and two Play-Doh Pluses. So here's the Play-Doh cupcake mix and all we're going to do is put a colour you want to be the base of your cake in. Push down. You might get a little bit of excess coming out of the bottom and top as you can see there. And that basically makes our cupcake with the sides on it which is really nice. So then we put it onto this little ye little yellow mole mold tray. So we'll make another one. We're going to make a blue base this time. And as you can see it comes out to the bottom and the top. So when it comes out the bottom and the top you know it's done. And then all we have to do is push it out. You can leave the bit on the bottom if you want. You don't have to cut it off or anything. So we'll put that up there. So you get little trays. So we'll make one more in the brown colour. Again, let's see if we can get it out to the bottom. So there we go. And if you get a load out of the bottom like this one, you just cut it off. Just pull the excess off. Pull the bottom excess, push it through. And there's our three bases. So what I've done is used the three different colours you get in this set as bases for the cupcake bases. And on the right hand side of the screen you can see the Play-Doh Pluses. So what we're going to do then, we're going to put the Play-Doh Plus into the yellow tube at the top of the tower. So all we want to do is take a bit off, roll it into a sausage kind of shape. So that's a bit big. So we're just going to roll it again and put it in. So as you can see, that's a bit too big. So roll it push it in. So you want it to fit in perfectly. Again, that's just slightly too big again, so roll it again. Until you, there we go, so it's perfect now. And then we get the plunger. So we just put it in, and as you can see there, it sits on top. So all we want to do now is just put our cake on the bottom. This is kind of fiddly if you've got big hands, but if you've got small hands and you're a kid, you'll be fine. So you put it in the bottom there and then what we do is push this green plunger down and the Play-Doh is going to come out of the yellow tube onto our cupcake to create icing. So I'm pushing down now and you'll see it coming out. So there we go. So it's basically creating an icing for the cupcake. And you can turn the cupcake too to get a better consistency, which is really cool. So just push it all the way down. If the icing doesn't sit properly like it has here, all we can do is just take it out with the icing on it. The icing's fallen off this time, but what we'll do is we'll take the icing, shape it nice and just put it onto the cake itself and there it is that's our yellow play-doh plus icing on our brown cupcake base so again you can see the different molds that you've got all the way along here so we got the gingerbread man the fish the bear the seashell got the star so you can pick whichever mold you want just to push it into and once you push it in there, you get the the cool molds, and then you just put the one or two onto the top of the icing. And once you've done that, it's done and it's ready to go. So this blue base, I really like this blue base. So let's put some more icing in there and push some out. So what we're going to do here? Just put some more icing into the tube and push it into on again. So we're going to use the yellow still 
and as you can see there it went on the cupcake a lot better this time so you just take that out and that looks really cool it looks more like a cream than an icing but it could be cream or icing it depends what cakes you want so you can get the green play-doh plus and put that into the tube there as well so again all you're doing is rolling the dough pushing it in the same as we did with the yellow dough so we'll put our pink base under and we'll push our green ice in and as you can see if you mix the green and the yellow together it gives you a really cool effect which is really nice and again you can be as creative as you want you don't have to use play-doh plus in the tube it's just the play-doh plus is a lot more playable so you can use that instead of instead of the normal play-doh but the normal play-doh would work just fine with this you know and then you can create the different molds with the you know you can put pink stars on pink bears you can do whatever you want really which is really cool so we'll do one more shape so we're going to do the seashell shape as you can see came out really well and then you just stick it onto the cake of your choice so yeah guys let me know in the comments below what you think about this cool play-doh cupcake set hope everyone's having a fantastic day as always and i'll see you next time hey guys welcome to another video today we're going to take a look at this imagine x gotham city batman playset so as you can see it comes in this really nice box and we get two figures in this set we get batman and an evil vil villain so as you can see as we go around it the detail is out of this world really the detail is spot on as you can see here there's just some of the features that the box shows but the box doesn't actually show how good this playset is but as you can go around it you know the detail on it is just amazing so let's take a look at it a bit closer so we have Batman so we have the two figures here which we'll take a closer look at and the, the figures are really well detailed really nice figures they're about a, an inch inch and a half high but they're really durable you know they'll put up with a lot of play in and they got some really nice detail like Batman's got his little cape which is really cool oh Batman stab it he does that from time to time <laughs> but yeah the two figures are really cool so let's look at some of the features on this playset which is really cool we got one feature which I really like you can put Batman on his post there and when you turn him you can turn him left or right and when you turn him it opens the cell doors on your right hand side and then when you turn him left it closes the doors which is a really nice feature on this playset and on the door on the doors itself we got some evil vil villains faces as well which is really nice so let's take a look at the this is probably with my favorite feature on this particular playset so we'll have to dim in the lights and take a closer look so Batman goes on the top and as you can see you can turn him left or right and we get a really cool neon light and if you look closely on the vil villain you can see like veins like green veins showing on him which is really cool so yeah we'll take a little look at it around it without the box so in there we have Batman's little control center which is really nice and you can you can get a you know you can get a grasp of the detail that's gone into this 
playset. You've got the the doors have got you know like little rivets on them. Just really nice, and it's really strong as well. You know the walls are all detailed. You know even the back. You know it even looks like we got stones on the back. We got windows in the cells on the front side and back, which is really nice. So you can't go far wrong. And you can open the doors with your hand as well. You don't have to use the the pivot points. So let's do a little bit of fun and let's see what's behind the doors. And what's behind the doors? If you was looking carefully about half a second ago, you'll see what was behind the door. So with any set like this, you can incorporate Play-Doh into the set itself. Now I really like the Gotham City, the two little gremlins, I like to call them, on the top of the door there. So let's see if we can make a mould out of them because they look fantastic. So I'm just play I'm just gonna push the play doh on. Gonna need quite a quite a fair bit of play doh. Just a nice enough. Just to get the detail from it. And as you can see, it comes out really well. Really nice. Just a bit of fun. It's just a little idea, something else you can do with this set, just to use your creative and look at that one, that one came out fantastic so that's really cool and I also really like the Batman light that you get on the left hand side above Batman which is really cool so let's put Batman in there and it's just making sure everything's fine so yeah guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about this set. Let me know if, if you collect this type of play set. Hope everyone's going to have a fantastic day, as always. And I'll see you next time. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at two Play-Doh pots. We have Toy Story and Disney Cars 2 with Lightning McQueen. And as you can see, they came in this really cool little box and we have two pots inside with molds on top so let's take these out we'll have a little look at the box first just because I really like some of the boxes that some of these things come in so you got the little play-doh color there so you can mix the colors to create different colors and let's take the tabs out we have a lightning McQueen one that just went flying up in the air and as you can see we have Disney Cars, Lightning McQueen it says on there taking the race by storm and that's a yellow play-doh in there and we also have a mould on top so let's look at the Toy Story one which is a really cool like I, I really like the black play-doh but as you can see on the front here we have Woody, Buzz and Woody, 5 ounces of Play-Doh in a tub. And we've got like a spaceshipy thing on top which is really cool. So let's take a look at the Toy Story one first. And as you can see we've got this protective coating on top so it means that we can't get into it. So we're just going to pierce that a little bit and then we got little hole just to get into the play-doh and as you can see we've got this really nice black play-doh so let's create some molds so yeah guys I've taken the, the play-doh out of the tubs now and just worked them a little bit just so they are tacky and soft so let's do the what we'll do first is we'll take a little bit of the yellow play-doh and we'll do the Lightning McQueen mould, which is this one, which is a really nice one. So let's see what he comes out like. 
I really like this yellow play-doh which is really cool and as you can see there we have Lightning McQueen's front which is really cool we've got one more to do which is the Toy Story mould and as you can see on this mould we have a spaceship kind of thing I don't know how good this one's going to come out but we'll definitely be trying and see what we get so we got the mould so let's just tap this down a little bit just to get some flat surface this is a complex mould this one just pushing down pretty hard hopefully it's getting in all the bits that I want oh and it came out really well <laughs> hey, look at that that's really cool that's really nice came out proper it's really nice so yeah guys let me know in the comments below what you think about these play-doh pots and molds if you maybe you've got them in your collection hope everyone's gonna have a fantastic day as always guys thanks for the support and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at two pots of Play-Doh from one from the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and we also have Minnie Mouse as well. And the really thing that I like about these is they've got the, these cool figures on top which are really nicely detailed as well, you know. Which I just thought they were really cool when I, when I picked them up. I just thought, yeah, you know, look how cool they are on top, you know. And now I'm hoping it doesn't actually say on the tubs anywhere. It doesn't say anywhere on here that there's stamps under the lid. Well, I'm hoping that we take this off and there's stamps underneath. There probably isn't, okay. But um, that's what I was hoping when I, like it says loads of writing here. It just basically, it doesn't say nothing about them actually being stamps. But... You know, I just thought they were really cool to have because of the actual figures on top. So, but look at the detail on the figure. You know, it's pretty good. You know, it's not perfect, but it's just fun, isn't it? And that's what it's all about. It's just having a bit of fun. And the graphics on there is really nice. You know, 3+. Plus. And there's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse thing there. And you get, in each pot, you get 140 grams of dough, which is basically the same as you get... Well, you get a little bit more. There's 130 in the, you know, proper ones. And I don't know why these are marked 2 plus and these are marked 3 plus. I'm not sure, but, you know, I think dough is dough at the end of the day. So, yeah, let's take a look at Mickey Mouse. And hopefully, guys, we're going to find a stamp underneath here. And I don't even, it doesn't even say what colour the actual dough is inside either. So... Let me just score this and then we'll have a little browse and see what's inside. So hopefully, it'd be nice if it was red or blue dough in here. But we'll see. So let's take a look. Oh yes, and we've got a stamp look. Fantastic. I thought they'd be stamps. But it doesn't say on the actual tub that they are stamps. Which is really cool. So let's have a little look and see what colour. So we've got a green dough which is really nice and I didn't want to open them before I did the video you know I wanted to see if they were actually stamps on camera you know so you just warm the dough up a little bit like that just to get you know the dough working a little bit for you because when they've been in the shops for a while you know they've probably been you know they, pr they were probably produced a while ago so yeah, we'll leave that green dough there, and we'll take a look at the Minnie Mouse dough, and hopefully she's a stamp as well, and if she is, that just means we're going to have loads of fun. So, as you can see, we've got two stamps. We've got Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. So yeah guys, what I've done is I've taken half of each tub out, here and here and here, and I've put half in a row just to do the stamps in. And what we're going to do is we're going to do two stamps of Mickey, because Mickey was my favourite growing up, and we're going to do one stamp of Minnie Mouse as well. So, 
let's do mini first I'll show you the pattern first as you can see there it's a really nicely detailed stamp I'm amazed these are stamps because I didn't expect them to well I kind of expected them to be stamps but there was there was only these two in the shop when I went there so I couldn't even open some other ones to have a look you know kind of thing so what we've done is just put pressure on there now to release it we'll just pull Mickey off mini sorry and as you can see we've got a really nicely detailed so we're going to take our Thomas cutter so this is our Thomas dough cutter and then we're just going to go around it like so and it's really nice that they do the character stamps like they are because you know it's really nice to have the actual character on top because it would be just a bit boring you know wouldn't it just with so just put the excess over there and yeah we have a really cool Minnie Mouse stamp so let's do Mickey Mouse on the green one as you can see he's looking quite happy there isn't he <laughs> so we'll stamp him on there like this and hopefully he'll come out just as good as Minnie did so as you can see that comes out really nice as well and this green dough I really like the colour green so let's just cut around him there and always put your dough back in the tubs after you've finished to keep it nice and fresh so yeah as you can see really nice detail really cool actually and we'll try to lean that up against there and then we'll put mini up there as well and last but not least we'll do this is so this is the proper play-doh dough, dough. Um, it's a lot it does feel a little bit different to the other ones but we'll see oh. so let's see up oh, there he is in the container look <laughs> So that's really nice. We just take, cut him out there. And you know, these stamps are really cool, you know, if you're just having fun with different colored doughs. Like, I wish I had my, some blue dough, because this would be really cool to do in some blue. But as you can see, loads of fun, guys. Really nice stamps as well. Let me know in the comments below. What was your favourite coloured dough and what was your favourite stamp? I hope everyone's having a fantastic day as always guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at two packs of Toy Story Play-Doh with different shapes in it. As you can see we have the gun and the star in this one. And we also have a alien in the other one so we're going to use the blue play-doh and the green play-doh so we're just going to roll out some blue play-doh and we're going to create some shapes with the molds that we actually got from this set it's a really cool set actually you know if you just want a bit of fun so let's roll this play-doh out and we're going to do the gun We also have that's like a little spaceship, which is really cool. And my favorite is the gun or the alien, I can't really decide, but they're both really cool. Like, I really like the alien. <laughs>
Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at some Thomas and Friends Play-Doh set that I managed to find the other day and I just thought it was super cool. So let's take a look at some of the dough that we get in this set. Now you get two of each character, as you can see in the background there, but I'll just show you the, the main ones first. So we get the blue tub, Thomas and Friends dough, and we have Thomas, James and Percy and Harold are the four main characters in this particular set. On each tub we have a mould on top. Now the moulds correspond to the four characters. So we've got Thomas on the top of this one. The green one we have Percy. Now these two are, mi are mixed around for some unknown reason. I haven't got a clue why they mixed around. But the red one should have a James mould on top. But it hasn't. <laughs> So yeah, on the white one is the James mould. And on the red one is the Harold mould. And let's have a look what else we get in this set. We also get a James cutter. Uh, we got two sides to the cutter. We also get a Thomas cutter, which is a different cutter, just to do the fine detail around the moulds. We get an arrow mould. We also get a train mould. Now I'm guessing this is supposed to be Percy, but it's a bit wonky and it could be any train. You know, if you did a blue one, it could be Thomas. If you did a, you know, if you did a red one, it could be James. Or if you did a white one, it could just be a white train. And we also get a bigger Thomas mould, which is really nice. Now these big ones look pretty cool. And we also get a James big mold as well which you know the de you know, the details there you know it's you know it's just for fun isn't it so let's see let's make a few molds up and see what they look like so yeah the first mold we'll do we'll have a look at Thomas and inside the pot we have our blue dough now the pots are only small in the whole set you get 400 grams of dough itself that's in the whole eight tubs so it's quite it's quite a lot of dough actually so basically what you do is you put it down there and then these act as like little stamps so you just basically push him down like this as hard as you can until the dough folds around it and then you take it off easily peel this off here like this You know, you can be quite rough with it, you don't have to be gentle with it. So, with the excess dough then, we'll just make another ball. And we'll take a look at our first Thomas mould. So yeah, the first mould come out really nice actually. It's got, you know, the details there, definitely. That's really nice. Really cool. So let's put him there. And we'll make a bigger mould from the big Thomas and see what that comes out like. The detail looks alright on the actual on the actual mould itself but we'll see. So basically you put it on, push down and hope for the best <laughs> and see what we get. So hopefully that's good. But you can use the cutters, you know, that's what the cutters are for. You can use to go around the outside. Just to make it a bit neater. Always keep your excess together. So you can have fun on another date. But yeah, look at that. That's really nice, that one is. You know, 3D embossed. Really nice detail. So let's take a look at the green mould which is our Percy and hopefully our Percy will come out just as cool as our Thomas did. Let's see there's, so there's the mould you can either use it like that or I prefer to use it with the actual thing itself the actual tub so you can just push it down like this and there's our Percy inside which is pretty cool so you just pop him out like that 
always keep the excess as well really nice look at that pretty cool so that's our James or Percy sorry <laughs> so let's go on to do our James and see so this is a different one now so we've got a white tub with James's pattern on it and we've got our red tub so we need to take our red dough from our red tub here And there is our James. You know, the idea is then is we cut around the actual moulds themselves. And let's see if we can do this. So basically, you just cut around the mould, you know, as best as you can. And hopefully, you get a cool pattern from the actual moulds themselves which is really nice and there is our James you know he needs to be tidied up a little bit but it's really cool so let's do our Harold so yeah so we're gonna take our play-doh which I've got here the the really nice colour one and let's see now this it's going to be really nice so we take a bit of our mould here take a bit of our dough and we put it by there and let's do Harold now the Harold mould is there and hopefully this is going to come out okay So let's see, you just cut around there again to see the actual mould of Harold. And the mould of Harold is really nice actually. It's pretty cool. So yeah, let's take a look at our arrow and do a little arrow, a couple of arrows to see. So basically we're going to put our arrow on top of our dough like this. And just push it in like that and then we're going to take our dough from around it and we have our arrow which is really cool and you can make bigger arrows too just by pushing it down slightly like this just to create a bigger arrow and it'll keep its shape as long as you're gentle with it it will create a shape like that which is really nice so let's take our play-doh and make a Thomas a mold from Thomas in our play-doh and see what it comes out like hopefully it will be some really nice detail but play-doh is really cool so there's our play there's our Thomas made in the play-doh you know as you can see really you know really good detail actually not so we're going to take our Thomas cutter and we're just going to cut around it like that and you can have a lot more fun with these as well you don't have to just do the molds you can make other things out of them but we're just going to do the molds in this video so there we have it guys there's our Thomas and friends dough molds now you can do loads more with these molds and you can also you know you could make the front of the train there and then you could make a body for it and stick the front on but there's loads you can do and hopefully guys you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments what you think about the thomas and friends play-doh molds hope everyone's having a fantastic day as always and i'll see you next time Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at some Winnie the Pooh and Friends Play-Doh stamps. 
I mainly got these because I thought the characters themselves were really, really nice and, you know, like really, really good detail on them. And I just thought it was really a, an amazing little collection to have. And the fact that each of them have a stamp underneath as well. There's Tigger, for example. They just, you know, the perfect ornaments, really. You know, they can just be displayed really nicely like this. And you can use them for the likes of using them with Play-Doh. So let's take a look at each one individually and let's do a stamp with the Play-Doh. So the first character we're going to have a look at is Rabbit. And as you can see, the detail is really nice all the way around the actual figure itself. And if he was just displaying that like that, you wouldn't really know it was a stamp unless you've seen it. But look at the detail on the stamp as well. Really nice. So we're going to use the yellow Play-Doh. So just make it flat like so. And just push it down. Like that. And then you can cut, you can cut around the mould with the actual mould on it. Or you can actually take the... The mold off to cut around it if you'd like doesn't make any difference it's just a bit of fun so you can cut around it make our favorite little donuts again and here's the mold so look at that look at the detail that comes out of that that's really nice really cool so let's look at our second character so our second character we're going to take a look at is er and i say it like that because that's the way i used to say it when i was younger and we have the green Play-Doh to do the mould with. But if you look at the character again, really nice. You know, really cool detail on it. And the actual stamp mould itself is really nice. And I thought we're going to use the James cutter today. So let's do a stamp. And see what it comes out like. So this time I'm going to take the mould off to cut around it. And there's our mould. Look at that. Really nice. I love these moulds. Like really nice. Really cool. And there's our mould. From our second character. So our third yeah. character is one of my favourite characters. Tigger. Our bouncy little friend. And again, look at that. That's fantastic. You know, that's just like... That's, this is probably my favourite figure from this little collection that I have here. Which is really nice. And there we got Tigger's little mould as well. So we're going to use the blue Play-Doh this time. Blue as well is one of my favourite colours. So let's cut the mould out and see what it see what it looks like. I think it's going to come out pretty good, hopefully. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below who's your favourite character as well from the Winnie and Pooh series. So let's see what our mould come out like. Look at that. How cool is that? It's definitely my favourite so far. So let's go and take Winnie we'll the Pooh, the main character, our fourth character of this video. And this will be a lot of people's favourite teddy bear when they was younger. I used to love this programme when I was younger. And I still watch it now and again now if it's on, you know, as you do. So look at the detail again, really nice. You know, you just can't go wrong. You know, really cool. I think these, these are not, I don't think you can get these anymore, these, these stamps. Not new anyway, so I was really lucky to get them. So let's stamp it in the white Play-Doh this time. And look at that. How cool is that? That's really nice. You know, it's got really nice detail above the eye there. And around the neck. Just really nice. So let's cut that one out. And then we'll move on to our fifth character. So yeah, you don't have to be perfect with them. You just have to cut them out so it's, you know, tidy-ish. But yeah, how cool is that?
Look at that. That's amazing. Really nice. So let's go on to our fourth character. Oh, Here's our character. fifth character. We have Piglet, which is our little baby pig from Winnie the Pooh, sitting on his little pot of honey. And again, the detail is amazing. We also got a really cool, really cute actually, this one is, little mould underneath stamp. So let's have a little look. Again, just putting a little bit of pressure on to make sure the mould comes out. Then we're going to use our James cutter. I also got a Thomas cutter which I use. But you can use any cutter obviously. That you, Everyone's got their favourite and Thomas and Friends cutters are my favourite. So let's take a look at the actual stamp itself. Now look at that. How cool is that? Really nice. So here we have it guys. So this yeah, is our let's last take a look at our final, final, and final character of this. Play-Doh. Winnie the Pooh figure. Then we've got Kanga and Roo. So the big one's Kanga and the little baby is called Roo. She's a mother, obviously. Now look at the detail on that, you know, you've got the little baby in her pouch. Really nice. And we're gonna be using our brown play doh for the brown kangaroo. So as you can see, we have the little baby Roo as the as the mould and it can, it could be mistaken for a mouse but it's not a mouse it's the little baby in the pouch <laughs> but yeah let's take a better look at that and see what it comes out like I think this one's going to be really cute as well really nice and let's see what it looks like so yeah some as I say sometimes I take I leave the mold on to go around the actual molds but sometimes I like to do it freehand as well just gives you that bit of character you know it doesn't have to be perfect oh look at that how cute is that <laughs> that's really cool so let's take one last final look at all of the Here characters go, guys, together take a look at the figures and the molds together now let me know your favorite character and your favorite mold from this video in the box below guys and also let me know what was your favorite color from the play-doh personally my favorite was Tigger there just because I love Tigger and he's one of my favorite characters so as always guys thanks for watching hope everyone's having a fantastic day as always and I'll see you next time Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at this really cool Play-Doh picnic set. So as you can see, we get the ham, the bread, the twirl, and the cookie molds. You get a load of molds in this set. That's the cheese. We get the cheese mold. We also got the banana mold. Got the strawberry mold. Got the pear mold got the apple mold so as you can see we got a really cool array of different molds we also get a couple of play-doh pots we get the dark brown light brown like the the red slight ready color ready orange and we also get a white tub as well which is really cool so let's start by making our sandwich so we will make it with white bread So here we go, we'll open the white Play-Doh. As you can see, it's a little bit tough to get out because it's stuck to the bottom, but that's cool. So we just basically rip it in half, which is quite simple to do. We get the mold, we push it into the mold with our fingers. That's the best way I find to do it. Just push it in with your fingers. And when you push it in like that, you've got to get it out. It's quite hard to get out, so you'll have to You'll have to find something to poke it out with, like that. And then you can see, look at the detail on that bread. So again, we'll do the same here with this side. Now this is a really cool little bucket because you get everything in one bucket. So you can just take it away with you. You know, you can take it on a trip if you want to play with it, which is really cool. So look at that. Look at the detail on that bread. Really nice. Let's get a close up really nice so now the bread's done 
we'll lay the bread ready to put our fillings in. So what we'll do is we'll do the cheese next. And we'll do the cheese with a light brown. So it's going to be like a Stilton kind of cheese. You could use yellow for the cheese as well if you've got yellow in the set. But I'm using what's in the set here. I'm not using anything different. Um, I will bring in some orange or yellow for the bananas later on. But again, taking a little bit of the Play-Doh. Pulling the mould out. And as you can see, we've got our cool cheese. Look at that. So the cheese the ha and the bread's ready. This is the ham. So we're going to do the ham in the ready, kind of ready orange colour. And this should come out, if this comes out as good as the other three did, it's going to be something special because everyone loves a bit of ham in their sandwiches. So yeah, you can pull it out. It is difficult to get them out of these moulds. Uh, they, like they should have a little push, something, or just leave a bit of the mould off so you can just get your finger in, which would be ideal. But you can get them out some shape. And there's the ham. So what we're going to do is get our bread like that, put our ham on it, put our cheese on it, and then put our other bit of... Look at that sandwich. Oh yes, very nice. So let's move on and do some of the fruits that we got with it. So we've taken some of the Play-Doh out now ready because you don't want to see me taking Play-Doh out of the pots, you know. So what I'm doing is putting a little bit of brown for the stalk of the bananas. I'm using a slight orangey colour here. You can use yellow if you want, but I just like the orange and brown combination. Looks good. So again, pushing in with your finger. Easy, easy stuff. And as you take, look at that. You take it out, you've got your little bit of brown on top looks fantastic again really nice especially when you add those little details you know you add the little brown on top there just to give it that little that little bit more realistic effect now on you I'm going to use the brown play-doh now you could you could get green play-doh because obviously there's normally green leaves on top of a strawberry but obviously we didn't get green in the set and I haven't got green to hand so we'll just use the brown and the red for now it's a, you know you can use any color you want you can use pink you can do a pink strawberry or you can do a black strawberry it doesn't make any difference at all it's play-doh and you're having fun that's the name of the game here just have as much fun as possible and enjoy playing with the play-doh so the strawberry came out really well. So let's do the pear. I'm just going to do the pear in orange with the light brown stalk to it. Now again, you could have done this in, in a different colour again, but it's Play-Doh, so it's all fun. And I really like these moulds. These moulds are fantastic. When I came across them, I thought they were amazing. Really nice. So again, look at that, you've got the, the effect of the brown stalk on top, and then you just cut the excess off, or, you know, you can do whatever you want with it, really. And you could make, like, you know, you could make ten strawberries, or you could make, you know, a couple of bananas. So we're just going to be pushing the brown mould in here now. and see what this comes out like it should come out really nice oh look at that these are for dessert after you've eaten your strawberry and sandwiches because you've got to eat your fruit first see eat your fruit then you can have a cookie and now we're going to make make our cookie now which is this this is definitely one of my favorite molds out of this set with a cookie good thing the cookie monster's not here because he would have eaten it all Again, it's difficult to get out sometimes of the mould, but look at this! Look at the effect you get. Really nice, really good effect. So we're going to go and get some green play-doh here, just just to do the apple, because I wasn't too bothered with the 
So now I'm adding my own Play-Doh to this set, which is, it comes with the four pots, but, you know, it, sh it should come with yellow for the banana, green for the apple, and so on. But it doesn't, so let's just get that out of there. And look what it looks, look at that. Really nice. So there's our apple. So yeah, guys, that is the Picnic Play-Doh Bucket Set. Let me know in the comments below what you think is the best mold from this or what you like yourself.